Did you know there are at least two access point setup options for Multicam? Let's look. Open up the Mevo Multicam app and we'll let the cameras populate as the app finds them. I'm going to use camera 2 as my central camera because it's in the middle of what I'm looking at. just helps me keep things sorted out when I put what's in the middle as, as, uh, as my main camera. I'm going to tell it I do not have a Wi-Fi connection. And connect to that camera. I do want to use camera 2 as my access point. It's highlighted in blue so I know that it's going to select that one. I do want to join the camera that it's going to pop up with here. Yep, that's camera two for me. Join. Give it a chance to register that that's been the change that's been made. And then I can set up each of these to talk to camera two. It's gonna give me the option to choose yes or no. It's gonna give me the correct camera that is my centralized camera that I want everybody talking to. Yes. It takes a moment for them to negotiate the connection. Don't get in a hurry. Be sure you give yourself plenty of time before you start this process, before your event. Now I can connect to each camera and continue. That will bring me into my normal three camera view with a preview on the right hand side. It'll give me all of my audio and I can go ahead and start with what I usually do if I didn't use access point connection. I would like to show you another option for access point setup in case your device, your tablet, doesn't have a cellular connection. You know, learning this and making videos about all the things that have to do with these live streams is really something I quite enjoy. If you've gained information, benefited from them, could I ask you to subscribe? It would really encourage me and know that I can keep building content like this for you. It's possible to set it up with Access Point if you have a hotspot. Now, I have a MiFi from Verizon, the 8800. It is a 4G, it is a 4G LTE hotspot. 5G isn't in my area yet with Verizon. Uh, T-Mobile says they have it, but I do not yet trust T-Mobile enough since their purchase of Sprint to have developed this actual area. Their coverage map shows that it's here, but traditionally both Sprint and T-Mobile suffered in this area. So uh, until they have rolled the, the uh, connection, the uh, combination of those two networks together. I'm going to give them some time to work on that before I test a T-Mobile hotspot and see if 5G is in this area or not. So what we can do is take this hotspot and Ethernet in to our iPad. I'm not going to connect to it via Wi-Fi so that my Wi-Fi signal stays freed up to talk to my cameras. It may not make any difference, but in my mind, it makes sense. So that's how I'm choosing to show you today. It's the way I've done it in the past, and it works really well. So let me see if I can show you what it is I have here. Now, what I'm going to do is take a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. Ethernet adapter, USB-C, and what we'll do is we will connect those. I just have a little flat Cat5e cable. On the other end, I have another of the same, USB-C to Ethernet adapter. And all I have to do is make sure those are connected because at the bottom of this MiFi, this hotspot, there is a USB-C that will both charge, do storage, and send signal. So, plug in here. So we'll go into settings. Between Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, when an Ethernet cable is plugged in, an Ethernet option shows up. It's not there any other time. When we click on the USB interface option, it's gonna show us all of what we have for our settings. If it's giving you a good connection, you will see all of this populated, what you see here on the screen. What you see on the screen here is what it looks like if there's something wrong. If you're plugged in, but for some reason the connection isn't there, 
It's just something to know. I've seen that happen and needed to flip one of my connection ends over and plug it back in. Don't know if that's the magic formula or not, but I've just seen that happen, just FYI. Now we'll go in and open Multicam again. We'll let it find the cameras. And I can see that each camera is already connected to the other one. That's from previous, and that's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and connect to the one that it that is gonna be my main connection to the other cameras. Connect to the others. Now that I'm back in the Multicam app, I can still allow the two side cameras to talk to my main central camera so that it's dealing with the iPad, then the iPad can send the signal out for the stream through the ethernet connection to my MiFi, and then the MiFi is only having to deal with taking it out. I'm not using it as a Wi-Fi access point to talk to all of my cameras. I'm just using it to let the stream go out, which frees it up to not be quite so busy, not be quite so battery intensive on it. And ideally, that would be a more reliable stream going out.